Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. If you're new on my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turn on the post notification bell down below. So as you can see from the intro, today's video is gonna be on this bomb, 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 bomb V-part wig from Beauty Forever. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes and direct links down below in the description box. The wig that I'll be wearing today is a 24 inch body wave v part wig the cap construction features five wig clip combs and three regular wig combs it also has an adjustable strap although it is not a must to sew a v part wig onto your cornrows you do have the option of doing so if you plan on wearing this long term there is extra netting at the top part of the wig where your leave out would be this is where you can sew down your wig onto your cornrows for longer installs or for added security if you choose not to use any of the wig combs V-part wigs are a quicker alternative to sew-ins and clip-ins and the best solution for finer textures and thin hair as opposed to wearing a U-part wig. Brushing through this hair, I love the density of it. I feel like it is a very natural fullness and I am excited to install because I feel like it'll look super natural. So the first thing that I am going to do is cut deep layers into this wig because my hair is not 24 inches. So you will obviously be able to see that my hair is shorter than the wig. To get rid of that, I would have to cut layers for my hair's length to blend in with the wig. I'm just gonna take my time and make sure that the layers are cascading deep layers. And I'm gonna do that on the left and right sides. And then of course, make sure that both sides are even. And the cut is perfect. I am fully satisfied with it. Next, I'm just going to grab BioSilk's Silk Therapy Silk Infusion Serum. Apply that to the hair for a natural shine. And in small sections, I'm going to grab my Chi Spin and Curl and just start to curl this hair. I want the curls to be going away from my face. So on the left side and the right side, I'll be curling the hair in different directions. I want my hair to be a flawless blend, so I am going to grab the Cara Cares Styling Wax Stick, and I'm just going to use that around where my leave out will be, and my hair is very fine and thin, so I want to make sure that there are no lumps and bumps on the wig and that my hair just falls over the hair flawlessly, so I'm just going to grab my pressing comb and that wax stick and just flatten the hair down at the top a little bit more. Okay, so to prep the wig for install, I'm just going to use these wig clip combs. If you're familiar with clippings, you know how to pop the comb out. I'm just going to pop the comb out of the five wig combs at the top, and then I'm going to grab those two adjustable straps, connect them together for a more secure and snug fit. Now that those wig combs are popped out, it is going to be easier for me to just clip them onto my hair underneath. So I'm just going to grab that comb, I'm going to position the wig where I need it to be and then I am going to rake it into my hair and then press the back to lock that 
wig comb into my hair. I'm gonna follow that for the five wig combs and then I'm just gonna position the other three combs on the wig, make sure that the wig is fully positioned and then I'll try to uh, blend in my leave out. So the number one rule when you are blending your hair in with extensions of any kind is to make sure that your hair is the same exact color as the wig or the extensions. My natural hair is jet black and I've always known that. It's just my natural hair color. And I knew that the wig would be an off black color, but I still did it anyway. You can't really see it in different lighting, but there is an obvious difference between my leave out hair color and the color of the wig. I can dye the wig jet black if I want it to, but we're just gonna bypass the fact that they're two different colors. And my plan for this wig was to get my hair blown out by the Dominican salon. I chose not to go to the Dominican salon and I chose to just flat iron my own natural hair. And that is the reason why it's not as straight as it could be, but hey, it works for me. I think the, the final install came out great. I love it. If I did try this in a kinky straight texture or maybe a yakky straight, I wouldn't do kinky straight, but if I did a yakky straight texture, I think it'll be a dead on spot on match. If I got that yakky straight 24 inch body wave and I dyed it jet black, it would be, you wouldn't be able to tell me a thing, honey. So I am gonna go ahead and add some baby hairs to this wig. I am gonna be using this colored edge control uh, product as well as some Gorilla Snot Gel. I'm just going to apply that colored edge control to my hair so that my, my natural edges can be a little bit fuller and blend in more with the wig. However, I did notice that either the Gorilla Snot Gel or the natural edges does have a water base and it did make my natural hair kind of revert back to um, being kinky curly, but we, we just gonna ignore that. We're just gonna ignore that because I do like the final results of it. After I apply those two products and do some baby hairs, I'm just going to spray some hairspray on the rest of the hair just to mold it and shape it into place and to make sure that any flyaways that I do have from my hair are laying down flat. I'm gonna put my head scarf on for about five to 10 minutes to allow the edges to, you know, take shape and form and to allow those flyaways to you know smooth down so taking that scarf off after 10 minutes I do want my hair to be a little bit fuller looking so I'm just going to grab a gel liner and mimic some hair strokes in the front you want to be very light-handed with this product I did not have a mirror in front of me so I did the best that I could I would go a little bit lighter next time but I think that it came out flawlessly overall Here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and direct links to this gorgeous V-Part wig and body wave from Beauty Forever down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below for more information. If this is your first time on my channel, please give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and don't forget to leave a comment down below so that I know you stopped by. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.